Hello and welcome to this video demonstration where I will show you how to configure the Brodersen RTU32 running as an IC61850 client. In this demonstration I will show you how to use the polling mode and use the buffered report. First I will start by opening the Stratum Workbench, then add a new project, select the destination folder, give the project a name, select structured text, set in the IP address of the RTU, So what I need to do now is to configure the driver. This is done in the field bus configurator, so I'll start by opening this, then right click, insert configuration, select the IC61850 client driver, then right click again, insert master port, give this port a name, we'll call it RTU test, set in the IP address of the server and then I'll be using 5 seconds as polling so I can show the long update time of the variables so I'll just say OK so what I can do now is to read my variables from the server so I'll just select this indication you see our variables which we select this is created in the global variables so what I'll do now is just to make a variable which is mapped to our first digital output. So I'll probably just select the appropriate profile, digital output, output bit, like this. Then I'll select the O. like this, compile and download to the RTU. So now I'll change the digital input on the server. So you can see quite long polling rate. So what I'll do now is to use the buffered report on the server. So I'll just right click re report control buffered also add put in the name of the RTU 32 then add and import so I'll just select the first buffered report ok compile download So now I'll change the digital input on the RTU running as a server. So you see now it's very fast updating, so it's using the buffer report. So now I've shown you how to configure a Borsen RTU32 running as an IC61 client using the normal polling mode and a buffer report. Thank you. This was all for now.